Hey there, Aries. Welcome to reading for the week of... Sorry, let me fix that. Uh, for the week of um, April 21st, I think, or 24th, something like that. I don't know. It'll be in the title. Doesn't matter. Uh, we're just going to jump right in here. And in your current journal energies, you have this card that says you found your life purpose, creating the life you want. You're manifesting. Recognize you have everything you need. Yeah, really good. I kind of felt like it would be a good week for you this week. I mean, you have that eclipse. Um, you know, well, I, I, you know, depending on when you're watching this, I'm actually doing this on the, this reading. I'm shooting it on the day of the eclipse so you know take it how it resonates but you know that eclipse could be really good for you and you know even though it you know eclipses can eclipse things out of our life that's not always true they can you know bring us like karmic rewards they can bring us uh things that are like kind of um you know like karmically owed to us and you know all sorts of stuff but i see a lot of success for you here aries and I don't read reversals. People always ask me, why, why do I flip cards around? And it's because I read intuitively. And if you don't like that, there are plenty of plenty of cookie cutter readings on YouTube for you to go watch, right? But uh, damn, Aries, this is a very good reading. You have the tower. Everyone has had the tower again. Like, it's crazy to me that this keeps happening. But I would, um, you know, focus on your purpose. There's a little bit of love here as well. I'm pretty sure you've had an earth sign or a Capricorn or a Taurus specifically showing up in your readings um, as far as love is concerned. So, you know, if you want love, there could definitely be love coming in for you. We're going to look more into that. But I would say that this reading, just looking around, soaking it all up here, there's like some sort of risk that you want to take here, Aries. Or maybe it feels like a risk, but it really isn't. And I feel like this has to do with your finances because uh, we have the King of Pentacles here. It's almost like this reading is saying like some sort of journey that you're thinking about going on is, um, you know, I, I kind of feel like it is going to create like long-term success for you but maybe there's some you know some fears some worries wondering if you, you know you, i'd say you know if you have that feeling where you're looking for the right answer i kind of feel this is encouraged this reading is encouraging you to get a little bit messy and what i mean by that is it's like sometimes i think you know we have a good idea and we think like oh i want to uh you know start this business or i want to go you know start this new relationship or start a new life in a new location but then we start thinking like oh i need to know about x y and z you know it's like we come up with all these reasons basically not to do it and i kind of feel like this is saying like just go start exploring this you know <laughs> just get your journey underway is kind of like what i'm getting here you have the strength card and so i feel like you have been very patient you know it makes sense with again jupiter red going out of your sign and then retrograding back into your sign. I talk about this all the time for you because, again, we only get this opportunity once every 12 years, basically, with Jupiter. So, you know, I feel like that you have been very patient, but it's almost like I see that this reading is saying that your rewards that you've been waiting for are kind of like on the way or they are about to show up in your life. So I really like that. I would also encourage you to, sorry, I meant to switch this. <laughs> uh, I would also look right here at this five of wands. What I would say, what I'm getting there is like, if there's something that is uncomfortable, I feel like that five of wands is saying like, don't, don't wait until something gets like super uncomfortable. You know, I always tell a story. Uh, one of my favorite people of all time, Les Brown talks about, you know, two guys, like two neighbors, right? One neighbor has a dog who just like lays on a lays on the deck and cries and howls all day long. And eventually one neighbor goes to the guy and is like, why is your dog, you know, crying all day long? And he says, he's laying on a nail. And he says, why doesn't he move? And the neighbor says, because it's not painful enough yet. And, uh, you know, sometimes that's how I think of the five wands is that a lot of us, it's like we stay in situations where we whine, cry and complain, but it just isn't painful enough to make us move. And I feel like this is kind of like saying you could make a move before it gets painful. Uh, with the Nine of Cups, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, really good, really good financial reading. I feel like it's an amazing time for finances for you. Even if you're saying, what, my finances suck. I would say, well, now is an amazing time to improve your finances. Now is an amazing time to cut things out that are stealing from you. You know, it's like if we invest in bad habits or if we invest in things that don't invest back into us, then we're losing money. If we invest in things like education or, you know, self-improvement or whatever, then we're investing in things that invest back into us. So I kind of feel like that devil is saying, make sure not just financially, but just all energy, make sure you're putting it into things that invest back into you, which we see with the justice card. With the uh, five of wands, like I said, I knew that the, I, I kind of knew that these two were connected. You know, they're obviously connected, but when that happens, it's like confirmation to me that basically, 
you know, I feel like you're very focused on long-term security. It makes perfect sense, especially like you, I mean, I mean, seriously, Jupiter in your second, which happens to be Taurus. Taurus is like long-term security, King of Pentacles, Taurus. So, you know, just putting it together with the astrology, it makes perfect sense to me that for, you know, for the foreseeable future, you're gonna be very focused on, you know, long-term financial security, building, leaving a legacy, all those things. Plus you have uh, Uranus and Taurus there. I mean, it's like all the energy is building up. Uh, with the strength card, you have the Ten of Wands. Yep, building, you know, you've been on this long journey. I think we talked about this. You've been very patient. I feel like you've had a lot of burdens, but now it's time for you to enjoy life. I really feel the universe wants you to enjoy life, even if you're not enjoying life right now. I feel like this universe is like saying, like, hey, the energy is ready for you to, like, enjoy life. The the energy is ready for you to, you know, have some nice rewards or whatever it is that you've been working towards. But I kind of feel in the area of what you need to know, you have this long road card. It says a great distance, longing, waiting, patience, slow growth, development, pathway, uh, team planning and uh, nurturing or something like that. Uh, but, you know, I feel like, again, that you are, I feel like you're about to go on another long journey, but it's not like, you know, it, it's not something where it's going to be like you're waiting for the things you want for this long journey. I think that it just, this is saying like your life is a long journey. And, um, but you're about to like step off onto this new road that I think is much more fulfilling, you know, much happier, um, you know, getting more of the things you want. And again, I don't think life is perfect. I don't think your life is going to be perfect, but I do feel that things are just going to be a little bit nicer and, you know, the energy will exist for you to manifest the things that you want. You have the devil, the king of pentacles in the justice card. If you are dealing with love, I mean, this definitely could be like a breakup situation that has left you single um, with the, um, you know, the uh, nine of pentacles there is the word I was looking for. So some of you could be going through a separation or you could have gone through a difficult separation in the past. I feel like once you, if you do want love again, I feel like once you let go of it, there's actually gonna be love coming in for you very quickly. Uh, this past person, you know, could also be the reason you're not opening up to love. But again, I would say take this Mercury retrograde to like the middle of May, take this time to heal. Cause like once you, if you do that, especially during a retrograde, we can like heal faster. We can process things faster. Then once you move on from it, there's gonna be like new love on the other side. And you have the King of Pentacles. So if you want love, could be something permanent. Uh, but I would say again, mostly I feel like this reading is talking about something that you're putting work into. Uh, believe it or not, the devil to me can represent needing a little bit more creative energy in put, being put into whatever it is that you're doing. King of Pentacles, he's kind of logical, even though, you know, he's not like the King of Swords or anything, but, you know, he's kind of logical. He just does, he does what works. And, and, you know, that's what I mean by that is like, he is very focused on doing the things in work and business and career, or even if he's retired, like saving money and like all that other stuff, he just does what has always worked. But you might have some ideas to like make money on the side, or even if you're retired, you might have some ideas to make some extra money, you know, by, you know, starting a YouTube channel or something like that. Um, but I always say these people, they have these animal horns on their heads and the animal horns represent their animal instincts. I always say that the devil, to me, he represents kind of like root chakra energy and he can represent needing to take that energy from your root chakra, bring it up to your head and needing to express something into the world. So there could be something that you're like creating or that you need to create or you need to be more creative. And I feel like I've said this to you before. So, you know, it probably makes sense. You have the justice card here. You know, for some of you, this could be like hoping to get justice in a love falling out situation here, Aries. Um, but again, it's almost like I get like some sort of attachment here. It's not like you're attached to this person. It's like, <laughs> I get this, weird, I, I'm pretty sure I've said this to you in past readings. It's like, I don't think this person, I think I said to you in your last reading, it's like, I don't think this person could, I don't think there's enough money in the world to make you go back to this person if they were to offer you all that money, uh, all the money of the world. I still feel you wouldn't take this person back, but it's almost like there's an attachment. Maybe there was no closure. Um, you know, maybe you just don't have some answers. So it's kind of like, it's still there. And I would heal from it because it looks like there's something really, really amazing that could be coming in for you love wise, you know? Uh, but this could be justice or karma. You know, uh, eclipses are time of karma. Uh, with the devil, you have the fool. Yeah, there's like a new beginning coming in for you after a difficult period of time. But again, these two people are still attached. You know, I really am focused on this devil in this reading. They're still attached to the devil, but those chains that are 
a kind of like around their necks are meant to look loose here, Aries. And, you know, I always say you could just simply take that chain off from around your neck if you are attached to a person. It's like, you know, I kind of get like some of you are just very sweet souls, right? <laughs> and I feel like maybe someone like did you dirty here or did something. And, and that's why the attachment is is there because you can't believe that someone would do whatever they did, right? And I feel like once you realize that it's just like they're a broken person or, you know, whatever their story is, it's like once you move past that, I feel like there's a new beginning coming in for you. Uh, with the, here you go, with the King of Pentacles, you have the Two of Cups. Again, if you do want love, there's clearly a soulmate coming in for you. But the Two of Cups to the Nine of Pentacles, you know, Two of Cups can be you and your higher self. So I feel for a lot of you that this could represent needing to listen to your higher self or, um, you know, needing to listen to kind of your inner voice or something like that. Uh, with the Justice card, you have the Two of Wands. You know, it's like moving forward without justice <laughs> is what this reading is saying to me. Uh, you know, he is normally standing at the top of a castle. It represents that he's standing where he has always been, right? And he's got the whole world in his hands. I always say the story of the two wands is that he rushed to a finish line. And so he like didn't enjoy the journey that he was on. And so he's looking out into the world and he thinks that there's nothing more for him to accomplish. He thinks that everything in the future, he thinks that all the stories that are potentially available for him are going to be exactly the same meaning like if he attracts love into his life he might be fearing that everyone is just going to provide him with the same exact story and I kind of feel like this is saying you know you have the power to change your story and I also feel like you have the power to change a situation here Aries you know this I always say on the tower as well that this guy here he's kind of like choosing to jump out of the tower. The other person's like, oh my God, I'm so surprised that this tower that's on fire is collapsing, right? And it represents needing to not ignore reality. So, you know, I think maybe there were some realities in this connection, if this was a love connection, that you ignored at the time. And looking back, you probably see them, like you see those realities. But, um, you know, I think kind of like getting out into the real world, uh, doing, you know, uh, getting out in public, doing some like new things in your life, will be very, very uh, helpful for you. Uh, next, you have this um, card that I can't read here. So um, uh, hold on one second. Uh, next, you have this Oblivion card here. And uh, this is from the Threads of Fate uh, Oracle. This is the Empyrean Oracle. Uh, full disclosure, I have a, a business relationship with Threads of Fate, but the, this deck is awesome. It actually looks way better than this, and they're launching uh, three new decks. I have a link to that pre-launch down below on Kickstarter if you are interested. I will be showing those decks off actually in a couple of days as well, but again, full disclosure, I have a business relationship with them. This is not sponsored by them, but like I said, I have a business relationship with Threads of Fate, but these this deck is awesome. Uh, and this says Oblivion, and you know, I get this feeling here, like of pushing things under the rug, basically, of kind of like, uh, you know, like I just said it earlier with that uh, tower card, that it's almost like maybe you see the things that you ignored in a connection, or maybe you see that you weren't paying attention to certain things that you should have been paying attention to. And, you know, I kind of feel it's like a lesson, of course, but, you know, I feel like it's saying like in the future, don't, don't sweep things under the rug. Don't, <laughs> you know, don't ignore the things that are kind of like happening in a connection. Uh, this could also be like a business or something else as well. You know, it's like, cause I feel like this is encouraging you to not get blindsided. It's like, um, it's like even YouTube. It's like, you know, I tell people all the time that have YouTube, like you better set something else up other than, and, and not only rely on YouTube as a business because if you do, you're screwing yourself, right? And I kind of get that here. So like even in work or business with the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like this is saying, make sure to have other you know platforms or other things going so that you don't get blindsided. And it's I don't think this reading is saying you are gonna get blindsided. I feel like it's just saying, build yourself like a solid foundation, plain and simple. You have the Nine of Pentacles. So again, I do feel if this was like a relationship situation that you were blindsided maybe in this connection. Um, for, and now you're kind of like focusing on yourself. Nine of Pentacles is an amazing card for focusing on your environment, like the things that are around you, cleaning yourself up, cleaning the um, cleaning your, your life up in the sense that you're making sure you're putting yourself in a positive environment, right? So a lot of you could be doing that, um, or you could 
could be trying to find a place where you like fit in. And I'm kind of getting that energy here. I'm a big fan of doing that with the Nine of Pentacles because again, when we kind of clean up our environment or we create an environment of success, I always use the example like here, when I get here in the morning, I hit literally one button right over here and everything turns on. If I had to turn everything on, I don't know, there's like 900 things in here. <laughs> all these lights, all the cameras, everything. If I had to turn everything on, it just would take forever, right? It would be a major sticking point for me. It'd be a lot of resistance. So, you know, it's like there are little things, little habits, little stuff we can do. Uh, I, I believe that can improve our life and make things easier, remove resistance. So it's like, what can you do to do that, right? Uh, you have the lovers. Clearly, I do feel like there's new love here. It, it's kind of weird because there's a lot of love showing up in the reading. Like, is it a major focus this week? I would say probably not, but I, I do feel like there is love here if you want it. So, you know, I would go get it. Definitely, probably a new person. I actually feel like some of you have your eye on a person. It could be like a Libra or Gemini as well. Um, or they could have like Libra, Gemini, or Earth clearly in their chart. I mean, King of Pentacles twice. But going up to the uh, tower there, I feel like it could be a surprise that this person's actually interested in you. I also feel like they probably went through something very similar uh, to you with that devil card. It's like almost like both people are on this card are wanting a new beginning. Both people are single. So... You know, I feel like this could lead to a celebration here. And, you know, definitely if you're like interested in a person, the fool says, take the leap of faith. Um, but, you know, I also feel you could be meeting this person uh, in your community as well. Three of Cups is like a community or that you could belong to a community, um, you know, that, that and, and that could be how you meet this person. Uh, I also feel that for a lot of you, this row is really encouraging you to focus on your own foundation. You know, with that Oblivion card, again, I feel that, I just feel there's a very strong need to kind of like make sure, you know, make sure that you're entering into things with the, the correct foundation or make sure you're building the correct foundation. Like I use the example of YouTube, but it could be anything. It could be your business. It uh, could also be your health as well. It's like, you know, I'm trying to lose a bunch of weight this year and it's one of my major focuses. I have zero junk food in my house because it's like, I have no self-control. <laughs> if it's in front of me, I'm gonna eat it, right? That's what she said. So, you know, it's like, there's no freaking way I'm allowing any junk food in my house, plain and simple. And so, it's like maybe you need to, you know, change your environment in some way. I'm, I'm just using those as examples, but it could be anything. Uh, with the uh, Nine of Pentacles, you have the Strength card. I mean, yeah, you've been very patient, don't you? Uh, yeah, you do have the Strength card twice. I thought so. You you have the Strength card twice. Strength is something that requires strength. You know, she is getting this lion to submit to her. That lion represents her inner voice, her inner critic, her inner demons. You know, all those things. So I feel like you have had to like work. And it probably is work to, you know, you know, she has to do that every single day. That's the whole point of the strength card. So it probably is work to, you know, create these improvements. With the lovers, you'd have the tower again. Again, it's crazy to me it, like that. I, I switch decks. People always ask me, are the cards sticking? I'm like, I have a huge stack. These are just, I switch every single reading um, that I do, right? And it, it surprises me that, you know, the tower comes up for basically everyone. Those are just three. I have like a million stacks over here. And, you know, it just cracks me up when this happens. But, you know, I really feel we're going to see a lot of global tower moments. I'm kind of getting bored of saying it as well. So I apologize, Aries. But, you know, don't be surprised when there's like more banks collapsing, more whatever collapsing, more crazy stuff going on in the world, right? Uh, just keep your head on straight. And I do feel, again, for some of you, I feel like you could be surprised here that like a person is interested in you. So it could be a good surprise. With the Three of Cups, you have the Ace of Swords, some sort of victory coming in for you or win. Three of Cups can be a celebration. So I do feel like you are going to be celebrating something like in the near future. Uh, at the end here, four messages from your uh, future self. You have this Shadow card and you also have the Sage card. I actually feel like you're very extremely intuitive at this time. And I kind of feel what's going on here is that you could be getting a lot of attention or um, it, it's not like attention. It's almost like saying to me that you have been, your attention has been moving in certain directions. Like I feel like you've been thinking maybe just random thoughts, thinking, oh, I need to do this for my business or I need to do this in my relationship. You know, it's like you have these random thoughts throughout the day. And I think what's kind of actually surprising, I, it's popping into my head as a surprise, is that you're right. It's like, you're. it's almost like you're getting confirmations, like a lot of confirmations for your intuition. So, you know, I'd say don't doubt your intuition. 
I feel like you have been through this shadow period as well. It's kind of, this is gonna sound weird what I'm about to say, but it's almost like for those of you that do want love, I feel like you've been being prepared for someone with that shadow card. It's almost like maybe you've had to face your shadow or you had to go through these tower moments to be ready for a person. I also feel like they had, they might have a very similar story. It could be a Scorpio as well, because I've been saying the same thing to Scorpio. Um, you know, I'm whatever. If you're not into Scorpio, no, no need to leave me a comment. I don't care, number one, number two, whatever, right? Stay single, I don't care. But what I would say is it could be a Scorpio or someone with Scorpio on their chart because I've basically been saying the same thing to them. Um, but it could be any sign as well. And, um, you know, it's almost like the two of you have been being prepared for something. I think it could stand out to you. Like maybe, I, I never suggest that you go and, you know, tell a new, a brand, like, you know, a person on a brand new date, like a first date. I don't, I don't suggest you tell them about all your failed relationships. Probably a bad idea. But what I would say is I feel like once you two start talking, it's like there could be a lot of similarities. Uh, you have the tower here. It's almost like something's being exposed. Uh, you have the Ace of Swords, so there could be a truth being exposed. The crown is falling off the top of the tower here. Um, I always say that, you know, we're gonna see a lot of crowns falling during the next like 10 years at least until like 2033. I think that the peak will be about 2027, probably somewhere around there based off the astrology and some other things, just like my intuitive feelings. But uh, we'll, we're gonna see a lot of crowns falling. We've already seen it. We, we already are witnessing it. Uh, Pluto leaving Capricorn is all about the breakdown of structure, the breakdown of establishment. Anything, and so a crown can be anything that has been established for a long time. So, you know, I don't know, don't say it and warn you, right? <laughs> and is it gonna affect us? I, I'd say honestly, but if anything, it's gonna affect us in a good way because we're gonna be getting the truth. You have the four pentacles here. The whole entire reading is encouraging you to build a solid foundation. And I do feel the tower could also be focusing on that as well. Maybe you've had a tower moment already. And I feel like, you know, the tower only gets reduced to its foundation, but I feel like it's saying like, how can you build a better foundation? How can you, like I use the YouTube example, but you know, for other areas of, of your life, how can you improve that? You have the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is fortune after difficulty. So, you know, it can represent a lot of improvements coming in after a difficult period of time. I do also feel you could be attracting a person who you could have a family with if you want love in your life. Um, but even if you don't, you know, uh, again, by the way, <laughs> I will say that this family, they're choosing to focus on happiness. You know, the story of this family is that they still have to deal with all the tower moments of the world. They still have to deal with all the, you know, the BS that's going on around them, but they're choosing to be happy. And, um, you know, I've been getting that message a lot for a lot of people. And sorry, I'm just dropping, um, I'm just dropping the entire deck here. You know, nothing, not, nothing new. But um, what I would say, is, you know, again, I would focus on happiness. With the tower, you have the eight of wands. I would be, I would definitely be careful of communication from a person from the past. A lot of people have had this as well. I don't know what's up with this retrograde, but, you know, it really could be bringing people from the past back or, you know, kind of like communication from people. So, you know, that, but eight of wands is a good card. It's a quick conclusion. With the four of pentacles, you have the hangman. Yeah, it's like there's some changes that you've been waiting for. I've noticed a lot of patience here. Even, you know, it's kind of funny because you have that uh, 10 of wands and I was kind of getting the word patience on that card. It's not really a card of patience, but you know, that guy that's normally on the 10 of wands, he has been carrying those wands on his shoulders and that it represents a harvest. He planted those wands. His home is in the background of the card. He's about to, to have a harvest basically. So I feel like you're about to have a harvest. You've been waiting for a long time. With the Ten of Cups, you have the Wheel of Fortune. You know, if you're attracting love into your life, it could be like a life-changing uh, connection. Even if it's not love, it could just be a new opportunity that you do love. <laughs> and, you know, I feel like it could be a life-changing for you here, Aries. So I definitely uh, love that for you. Uh, you uh, we're gonna pull five main themes. You have this Grapes card. It says, time to go out and have fun. Yes, everybody gets this. You know, I think during retrogrades, very airy energy, you know, it's like we can be too focused on what's going on in the world or we can be too serious or we can be too worried. So getting out of your head is always a good idea. You have this barrel, it says, you feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps money, love, or goals. You know, it could be like the tower and, you know, I feel like some of you are wondering, you know, really it's, I do feel with this tower that you're wondering, cause I keep saying the word foundation. I kept saying the word foundation. I was getting that. It's like, I'm wondering if some of you are wondering, like, is it even worth it for me to rebuild the tower? And I would say, yes. The whole, you know, the tower is not a bad card. Tarot is not good or bad. It's just, you know, we will always experience tower moments. And, you know, people have asked me before, like, why would I want to rebuild the tower if I'm creating a tower that's just going to fall in the future? And it's like, well, you shouldn't look at it like that, number one. Number two, it's reinvention. It's not, you know, 
yeah, tower moments can be uncomfortable, but they can they can oh, they can if you put the work in lead to something better. So you know that's why you would want to have the tower moments. But I feel like this is saying whatever you feel like is lacking, you know, kind of focus on that. And you have this broken ring card. It says parting of the ways, either in romance or business. We talked about this or some sort of breakup here. I, I feel like if you have gone through a breakup though, you've already gone through it. You know, it's like this has already happened in my mind. So, or I don't know, maybe you've recently gotten back to someone that's going to happen again. Take it how it resonates. But, you know, either way, I feel there could be like a separation going on in your life. Uh, next, you have this hard work card. So, you know, I feel like you are working very hard. Your hard work is going to be paying off for sure. Uh, you have this parrot says someone will gossip about all your secrets. I would be careful if you have a, pro a person, you know, who does gossip basically i'm always very wary of this it's like when i meet a person and they start talking about like other people i'm always like eh. <laughs> you know i'm always like very very careful of that you know um and you know it's just like one of those things it's something that i would pay attention to you know it's like if you meet a person and they have bad things to say about everyone they've ever interacted with i would just be careful of that or if they have a lot of stories about you know, past people or whatever the case may be. I feel like that could come back to bite you. I mean, I'll tell you, like I was dating a person and they like basically told me all these stories about all these past people that they were dating. And it's like recently I found out that they've basically been telling stories about me to other people as well. They don't know I know this, but I do. And uh, cause someone told me, <laughs> a little birdie, a parrot told me about this, right? And um, it's like, I don't care. You know, who cares? But um, it's still kind of shitty, you know, shitty thing to do and uh, low vibe, of course. But um, it's like, you know, I wish I listened to myself, right? When Because that's like one of my rules and I didn't follow that rule. So don't ignore that rule here, Aries. But, um, you know, really good reading. Uh, I love where this is going. Definitely, I feel like you're kind of like rebuilding, uh, and, but looks really good. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.